All right, guys, welcome back. Today we're playing a, another playthrough. This one is uh, Camp's Labyrinth. This is by Sir Camp's a lot. It's brand new. Um, he'll definitely be in the comments if you guys want to chat with him down in the comments. Uh, I've seen about five holes of this on his Twitch. Um, I didn't want to spoil the course for myself, but I did want to get a look at it before we played it. It looks insane, guys. There is just shit going on everywhere here. I think it's going to be a real challenge. Uh, I think it'll be a ton of fun. So we're going to play the very back tees. It plays at like 8,500 yards in the back. Um, pin set two, which is not our normal pin set four, but you'll see why probably as we play. Uh, medium wins and then default everything else, which is going to be normal, normal, and medium green speeds. Um, from what I've seen, this is going to be a challenge regardless of the settings. So I'm actually really excited for this. I've been waiting to play this for... A couple of days now, really, since I saw the playthrough. Um, hopefully, it doesn't disappoint. Hopefully, you guys like it. It's definitely in the fantasy realm. Get a sip. <clears throat> Clear the throat, you know, with a nice ice-cold beer. And let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. First tee, we have options. I mean, that is just really not an option. This kind of is. Hmm. I mean, you could maybe drive. This is going to be hard to see. I think we just lay back. I think this is the play. Three iron in here. I don't think you can really drive this. May need to draw this around these trees. It's not. All right, it's going to be all right. A little pushy, a little bit more of a push than we would really wanted. We'd like to straighten that out a little bit, but we're we're right here. Nice big green though. Um, I think we can just maybe just do this a little bit, just a little off of this thing. A little fast. This should be okay though. Beautiful. All right. Love the first hole. Here we go. This one for birdie. Nothing too crazy. The greens I don't think are gonna be too insane here. We'll take the birdie on one. There's a lot of weaving in and out of all these rocks, so um let's see what we can do with it. I'm wondering if we can hit driver here, but I don't know if this rock is in the way. It probably is. We also have this over here, which this will definitely funnel us in. The thing is, we might need to. This is just it's it's honestly <clears throat> I like it. I have a feeling we're gonna have a really hard time with the elevation changes and stuff. Being we like we might actually have to use the book here. And honestly. I've already found our pro a big problem, right? So it's down 200 whatever feet to the hole. It's probably down, call it 180 to, to this spot. But we have really no way of knowing our waypoint. And I don't know how far I have to hit it because I can't use the book, right? Because it's all covered by rock. So this is almost an impossible shot for me to hit because I don't know what I need to clear. I guess I need about 260 to clear that. I probably need to de-loft this a little bit at least. We're going to try this. Um, this is probably going to be too long. We also missed it way to the left. That was fine though, distance-wise. All right. <laughs> this is going to be tough, guys. Um, hello? Hello? Come back. All right, so we're back on the tee box. We're going to do this again. Except we're going to hit three iron. We're going to hit it better this time. Hit it a little fast. This is going to be this is going to be a problem again maybe. Let's go. All right. A little bit of a fuck up. 
I actually think we can just do this. We're in here, so this should be fine. I think this is the camera angles, I think, are going to be wonky for this whole round. There's really not much you can do when you're going in and out of rocks and stuff like this. Um, it's just, it's definitely not going to be some people's cup of tea. I I enjoy a nice fantasy course, so. The only thing I'll say so far, I would really like to be able to use the book probably on some of these shots, and I'm only two holes in. There's options on every hole. This one's got tree trouble. This is also downhill. It's probably like down 60 yards to this, so... I think I can get to that tier. We're about to find out. 101, this should be pretty good. All right, right in the fairway. It's a good shot. I don't think we can really get... Um... All right, so unfortunately, this way doesn't give us a chance to um, to get there, which for par four is a little, it's a little unfortunate. From those tees, you like you just can't get there in two. So I would have to say, if you're gonna put tees back that far, you just have to allow your player to um, to actually get to the green, you know, in two shots. If you hit a good drive, you know. Uh, I think. 79. I think we just take a little off of this. We'll be okay. It's a little short, but it's a pretty tame green. Well, it's actually you. just fine. Alright, we'll take our par. That's not bad. Even par through three is good. Um, I like the course. I just... I don't know if it's actually going to work. If we're being completely honest. As of right now. I love the idea for the course. I really do. I think it's got some great qualities. I think maybe these back tees are just. Not. Potentially not doable. Honestly. I'm not. Uh, not positive. Could be rough. Could be fairway though. <laughs> Alright. Um, we're safe. It's a par 4 again. And we can't. Can we just, like, splash out of here? All right, let's see. We gotta, like, splash out to right here somewhere. All right, All right give us a... I mean... We're going to find ourselves in some weird spots today. That's for sure. It's also just like a really difficult... Even if you were to hit a good first shot, your second shot is incredibly difficult. Of course, our tempo is not going to be any good today. We get a, a, a favorable bounce, to say the least. 134 is... See if we can two putt this. Just make our bogey and just get the hell out of here. I love the look of the greens. The uh, color wise, like they look really nice. I don't know if some people might think they're too bright or whatever, but I think they they fit the course really well. The greens do, and I like how the greens are big. So T to green, incredibly difficult, but at least you give us big greens. Uh, at the very least, you do. 246 down. So this is like the elevation is just insane here. So we're going to gain like 40 yard. Uh, no. eighty. Yeah, 80 yards is it? 80. So we're looking for like a 127 club. We'll... Yeah, honestly, our 127 should do the trick here. Again, because the way it is, we really can't judge the shot that well.
Let's go kick right. Should be fine though. Distance wise, it's great. It's really just a game of math, you know. This to take your score down to even par. All right, we'll t we'll make the birdie. We'll take birdies wherever we can get them. This might be like a. It's not an impossible challenge, but if we can get even par here, I think we'd be doing all right. Who knows where the hole is? It's 600 yards away. It's down 300 yards, and this is probably down 150. So we hit three three wood here. Our tempo sucks right now. I'm actually going to go reset it because this is what it was doing to me in TGC like two weeks ago. Stand by for one second, everybody. Okay, we're back. Um, I'm just trying to find ourselves a shot here. So this is down 192. The hole's down, I think, even further than this. Okay, so this is probably down about 100 yards. Or 100 feet, rather, which is going to be another 30 onto this. This should safely... Definitely safely make it. I don't know if it'll end up in the fairway. Tempo already after one shot feels better. Okay, that's a good shot. It's a game of placement on this place. Maybe too much so. I know he's got a little bit... He said a few people have told him they don't like it. Um, he doesn't know why. I'm hoping I can help out with this. Um... So far, I like it, but it's very challenging. Like, if you are not a very experienced player, you're going to have fits on this course. And even if you are experienced... Oh, hold up. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> what a shot. Even if you are an experienced player, you might have fits on this course. What a shot. Uh, all right, let's try to keep just figuring our way out through this place. This looks like a nice open spot. He actually used this. I watched, This is the last hole I used. He talked about this little drainage area. Um, we're going to play this. It's got to be down like 100, right? So we're going to actually just hit this. I don't think this will hit the rock or anything. Yeah, we should be good here. It shouldn't funnel us in. I don't know what this is going to give us as a second shot, but let's see what we got here. So it's a par five. You can reach this one and two. It's down 50, so we're going to gain like 16, 17, 247 plus the wind. I, I'm okay with this, actually. Uh, it's going to be a little short, but it, that's fine. Center of the green here just feels like the play. And it is center of the green, which is going to take our two putt, hopefully, and just walk away with our birdie. We're going to take birdies wherever the fuck we can here. This is the kind of course this is. Shadows here are... Um, I don't love shadows, but it's honestly, it's not the creator's fault. You know, it's nothing you can do here, but it makes the greens really hard to read, especially with a big old tree here, making tons of shadows everywhere. This one's tracking. This pin's kind of nasty. Yeah, that pin was gross. I guess we'll three putt for par. We'll take it. 200 through 7 is pretty good. You'd love to see a birdie there, obviously, but another one that's 250 feet down. It's probably, it's probably pretty damn close to that, honestly, from here. Just hit a little draw around here. It should get there, no problem. 
Oh, it gets there no problem. It might put us in a little, a little bit of a pickle. It's another par five. This one we cannot reach. We are actually gonna splash out here. Okay, Just see what we can do here. This tree might jump. fuck us. It actually is definitely going to fuck us, which I don't love. So camps. This tree can't be right here. You, you can't put this tree right here. And I'm about to show you why. In about in about two seconds, I'm about to show you why this can't be here. Yeah, I'm not sure where this one's uh, going. Okay, it, it went through it. I, I guess if that's a tree that that ball goes through every time, leave it there. Otherwise, please go back and get that tree out of there. That's a tree that just is... The course is hard enough on its own. Um, you can't put a tree blocking the players from getting to your green. Because I'll tell you, if that had hit that and went into the water, that, that's a frustrating shot. It's going to break back, but enough? I don't know. And it's short. Four foot putt. No, we'll take our par. That's fine. Another par. Back to back par five. Or actually back to back to back par fives. Two under. And that is it. Nice tailwind on Couple this pars. You can do with that. Um, trying to find something to look at. It's a, it's a little bit. The map is a little confusing. Looks like we can go through there. I don't know if it does us any good or not. Should we try it for science? Probably, right? Maybe a little drawer on this rock. That swing was to die for. Let's see what happens. All right, we're on some sort of pathway. We're going. I think we're. We think we're in good shape here. What? Okay. All right. You gotta love a shortcut like that, right? Come on, guys. Look at you love it. Fantastic work. Love a good shortcut. You could go to we took a leap of faith just whacking that thing in there, but it works out for us. It's gonna be a birdie for sure. Can it be more? Uh, the answer to that question is uh, no. It can't be more, but it can be a birdie. We take birdies on this channel, all right? Three under front nine. We got the little nervies out at the beginning there with the bogeys. We've kind of settled in. We hit that nice hole out eagle, and um, we're here now. Down 374. This is another shot that's honestly just brutally difficult, which is is fine for me personally i don't mind it i really don't um for newer players um this course is honestly probably a nightmare just to be completely honest uh we're getting in 50 here probably <clears throat> it's a 280 i don't even know if this clears doesn't you need and you need what? What? Is, my number's fucked? Why is that? Oh, that's the hole. That's why. Why is the map backwards? Is the map backwards? So 280 gets us right there. If I'm if I'm wrong on my distance, like I'm, I'm thinking this is probably about 150 feet down. If I'm wrong on that, it's gone. If it's more than that, it's too long, which it was. It's probably about 190 feet down, or maybe even more than that. It's really impossible to tell. Down 126, we're going to gain 40. And the 75% is going to... We're going to lose 50 here. So this should honestly land in here. This should be fine. And curve it around these rocks a little bit, and we're gonna hit it. 
We're gonna hit it fast. That was the safe shot. A slight slow there would have would have helped us get around. It's a gorgeous, um, gorgeous background here. See if we get one right. Just gonna slowly trickle all the way over there. Maybe, maybe not. And good luck here. Six feet to go. That was. Nice That's okay. We'll take par. Back birdies. We'll take birdie, rather. Didn't realize it was a par five. Camps does. I've played a few of his courses now. He puts a lot of par fives on his courses. Okay, this is a long par three, 100 feet down. So for those of you who are newer, I know a lot of you play TGC. A lot of you aren't newer. This is probably not going to help anybody. But for every 30 feet down, it's about 10 yards of distance. So to do the math, right, 30, 60, 90, that's 30. And then you're going to do about 15, which is five. So you're looking at 35 yards here. So this three iron is really playing 266. Which So we're going to land a little little past the hole with a three iron with the rollout. You really don't want that. The only problem is my next club is a four iron. This is going to leave us about 20 yards short. So what we're going to do, we're going to loft this up. We're going to hit it and honestly just hope that it works out. Sometimes with a course like this, that's really all you can do. You can't really go after everything like crazy. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Oh, that would have been so good. Why? Why doesn't that go in? Oh, that would have been insane. All right, I guess it worked out. That's kind of what I'm saying. Though. You, you kind of get to pick a number. Hope you were right on your number, and then hope you get a little bit lucky. This fairway is kind of calling my name, but it's also just a brutal, brutal challenge to get to. We're going to probably... I mean, this is probably uh, truly the 80 down. This is probably going to gain... It's probably going to land like 280, I would guess. But that's not going to be enough. I mean, that side of the rock is okay. I can't really see it, but... Or I could just go here. But this has, like, a giant rock. It's not even an easy shot. We're going to we're gonna take this because I don't know what's going to happen if I don't. I don't know. This one could go either way. Let's get lucky. Let's get up and out so here. for me, I know you want this to be a challenge, right? And I don't mind a challenge, like I've said a hundred times before. You challenge the player, right, by having to fade it around the rock or take a basically an unreasonable shot to another fairway. Um, what you could do to help the player there is either make this bunker really small so you have a little bit more grace in your landing zone here or honestly just make it all fairway because this is the the layup spot you know i'm gonna play this this should be fine so not to shit not to shit on anybody's course because i know everybody works this is gone probably right not everybody works really hard on these courses so my goal is not to just come in here and shoot down everything everybody's done um but like you got you gotta help your player out a little bit Otherwise, they're just not going to have any fun. And we all come here for the fun. A little curve around there. That is fine. It's a gorgeous golf shot. Hopefully, we just get our two putt. We make our par. We walk to the next hole. We call it a day. I think this course... This course has really great potential. Um, okay, and it's a good course, a but I just think there's, there's right spots that you can, the that you can help the player out. out. Like, right, and this needs to be flat. Um, you cannot leave this tee box like this. So little things. I'm not a designer. I would really love to see the 13 on my left 
come up out of the ground. <laughs> the 13 on my right maybe come down so it's not floating. And this tee box has to get flattened. You cannot have a tee box that's going to affect your tee shot. Even in a fantasy course, for me, that is not something that um, that we can do. So it looks like our layup option is over here. The drive is, I mean, the I, like I don't know if it's worth going for this. Uh, it's a layup straight ahead, actually. So this is probably uphill to here. I'm gonna I'm gonna play this. It's a downhill slope. I'm not really positive how much this is gonna affect the ball. We're gonna play the layup. Just please flatten that tee box out. Um, like I said, you just you can't have that. You can't have that. Um, down 91, so we're going to gain 30 here. So we're looking really for like a 100-yard shot, which we do have. We have a perfect 100-yard shot, although not factoring in the wind. 112 is probably the number, maybe even a touch of D-loft because this, the wind is going to go crazy here. 95%, not quite what we're looking for, but honestly, it's going to work. It is going to work just fine. We didn't need the D loft at the end of the day. Let's see if we can make our birdie putt. It's getting there. And we do. Six under. Six under. It's a, honestly a pretty goddamn good round, if I do say so myself. We might take this fairway. I'm just trying to think if... I'm just trying to see. I, I know I keep zooming in and out. I'm trying to see if this is uphill, if this is level. I think it's about level. I felt that fast. This is going to be fine, though, I think. I'm sure that's not what you wanted, but sometimes these things... Okay. Um, we don't need as much... Obviously, we can't. So, I don't really know what's going on here. I'm thinking. I don't even know where I am. It does this feed down. So you gotta. Oh, there's a there's a seeker right here on my cursor. So basically, you need to you just need to work your rework your fairway so the spot that I'm in is higher. You can't you can't funnel someone into this corner that I'm sitting in. I'm hoping it goes into that thing. That's kind of my my goal here. I don't know where we are though. This is our third shot. I think it I think it went down the chute. It's it was a little confusing. Um I want to say that that's probably what happened there though. I think it went down the chute. It could be good. All go. right, good shot. We're going to have a chance at birdie. Some of this course is just it's so very mazy. Um four par fives in a row here. It's a little too mazy for my liking, honestly. Um, like I said, the course is really cool. It's so unique. Um, I love that shoot down to the water there. But it's really, really hard to tell what things are going to do when you do them. Kick right. Wow, that's that's fortunate. Uh, up thirty. This should work. Oh, fast is not good. Good job. Trees are going crazy on the screen. 
We'll take the eagle putt all day. Turn. And let's get going. Give this a Apex playing this course would go fucking insane. Uh, if, if Apex Hound plays this course, he'll go crazy. He'll be OB the entire round. He'll be raging. It's going to be... I hope he plays it because it's going to be a fantastic video if he does. Um, Alright, so this here... Again, like, I kind of, like, this is probably trying to catch players, but I would really rather you just flatten it out, build a wall there or something. It's another shot that's, like, nearly impossible to hit a good shot. So, I don't think you can reach that patch down there. It's too far. I see this one here. It's just, like, okay, there's a, um... There's another little shortcut right here. If I hit it dead, dead away into that rock, it will drop you down there. Thing is, it's probably like 170 feet down. So again, it's another guessing game. Because we know how far down it is to the pin, but we have to guess how far down it is to that, which makes it so challenging. So I'm going to say we're probably getting 50 to 60 yards. And that's 265, so we're looking for, like, a 200 club, basically. This three, this five iron should get there. This one should be in the okay, it's actually a little short. It doesn't quite get to that little nook that we're looking for. And now, because of we didn't get that far, we can't reach, like, we can't do this. We have to actually, sadly... We have to chip. So, I love the little shortcut thing there, but when you're playing with no aids on, like like I'm not, um, I would rather you lo lower that wall low enough that if you stay up on that tier, like I hit a really good tee shot, and my reward was I had to hit a, an eight-yard chip to get it down to here i think my reward there should be a lower wall and a chance to go for the green which i didn't i was not afforded that opportunity hopefully this all makes sense i'm not trying to be a dick i'm just trying to help your greens are nice like they're like i said because t green is so goddamn difficult um your greens being huge is a po is a real big positive to this course because once you do get a shot into the green, you basically can't miss it. All right, so it's down 111 to the pin, but this is clearly down a lot further than that. There's also the, the tier here that's just a little higher that I can't see that good. This has got to be down like 160, so I'm going to say we're probably going to gain 50 again. This lands 350. We should be able to get to this. I would really like a sight line, though. It's just so hard to tell what exactly is going to happen. We hit a good shot. It's 390. Okay, this is about 240 yards or so from the pin. Up 60. We're going to lose 20. So we're going to look on like 210. We got to really step on this thing. It's got to clear this bunker. It does. It's a great shot. It's a go We've hit some fucking stunners here. This putt is for Eagle. Might be low. I wanted to hit it firm. It's in. It's an eagle. Somehow, some way, we're we're eight under on the back. <laughs> I don't know how. Don't ask me how. This, this has turned into a crazy good playthrough. But honestly, I could probably play this course ten times, and I probably won't get to eleven under again. It's just very, very tough. 
I'm also, like, I'm trying to see because I feel like I can get to the green here, but I just can't tell. Here we go. Here's a fairway here, which is probably a shortcut. If I'm looking dead away, it's only 305 to the front. Like, I can definitely get this there if I just go straight through. And it looks like I can actually sneak it maybe under that rock again. We're going to try it. We're going to gain 60 yards, though. It's 320. This is going to land pin. We're going to play this. This isn't enough, but... See what happens. It's, uh, not what you want that is really unfortunate. Oh! Setting up here from above the green. Alright, so there's not a little shortcut here. And then, we're because of it, again, we're just screwed... This will get us in there. It's another shot that we have to chip, which just kind of sucks. I think that, like I said, I've said it a bunch of times. I think the course is so unique. It's It's got a lot of good things going for it. But honestly, for the average player, this is just way too complicated. Way too, way too much thinking. Uh, a lot of people are just looking to come on here, have a good time, not have to do math. And I think that's really where your problem comes in. Um, this is a course where you have to think so much to get anything done. It's a par on 18, it's an 8 under back 9, it's 11 under, it's a great score. The course was fun. Um, I would actually recommend you try it, but just make sure you have plenty of time. And just know you're gonna you're gonna be doing math, guys. Thank you, camps, for this. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some you know valuable information out of it. Um, keep them coming. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Drop a like for me, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.